Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. We are back again with another IKEA training series. And in today's video, we'll be giving you a tip and trick about IKEA's BMAX. You know this IKEA BMAX app is sort of a mobile app, even it has a desktop app where you can experience your, your 3D designs, your more especially your hyper models in, in the mobile app. So this is an interactive workthrough of your models and project sets and you know explore it. You can analyze your 3D models, your constructability reviews, your quality controls, and design quality check with the SPMAX. This is a mobile extension of Graphisoft and it really it's really nice you can use it in your ios or android yeah all right let's jump into it i'll show you how you guys could uh, export your models how you could publish instead of export let's say publish publishing sets for bmx or hyper models First things first, we need to know how to publish BMX hypermodels. And BMX hypermodels provide a, a tight connection, you know, of 3D and 2D design information, similar to hyperlinks, you know, and the linked content on the internet. So what you need to know is, if you wish to have a hypermodel, we need to have a set of 3D and 2D documentation sets available properly prepared beforehand before you could publish to the hyper model so you need to save your views and anything that you want to be you know viewed in the, the, in the, in the hyper model and the bmx so the bmx model can contain the full documentation of your arcade project plus model and views and layouts like you see here I have views for any kinds of drawings, my architectural drawings, my my sheets, my documentations, my interior views, electrical, and this is basically a way of uh, it's it's, a, it's an efficient way of organizing your drawings, and you know you can achieve a lot by saving views. I have a video of how to save views and how to navigate all this and for you to organize to be organized like this there's a link to the description to the video and if you're interested in our template you know advanced uh arcade modeling and you know organizing modeling capabilities feel free to contact us and if you need help in anything regarding arcad leave a comment in the description and yeah we'll jump into it to create a hyper model you first need to create a publisher set okay and you know the easiest way to create a publisher set is by using the organizer and i have a full tutorial of how to use the organizer we have a full tutorial on how to use the organizer and I'll leave a link on the description for it. And yeah, you pull you pull pull the organizer. Once you create a new set, you can easily drag and drop files to be published. You know, and select each and every file you want to review in the BMX app and drag them off. Open the organizer, select the publisher set. On the right hand panel go into the top level of the hierarchy create new click uh, new publisher set below rename enter the name of the in the name field select the newly created set and click on the publishing properties button and the publishing properties dialog box you can choose how to publish the hyper model your option your options are upload the BMX Apple model or save. So rather we'll save. 
so we upload it on ourselves in the cloud select the save file path click where you want to save where the files will be saved with the name and click ok so now that we have our publisher set okay uh, set we need to add views and layouts to our publisher set please note the bmx hyper model must contain at least one 3d view okay in the right hand of the organizer double click on the publisher set and then on the left side left side of the vmap which contains our saved views there's also an in-depth tutorial of saving views like i said in the link of the description drag and drop the desired views the views that you want on the layout book and then finally if you're okay with the views that you have you know uh, chosen your interior plans architectural plans construction electrical and so on and remember uh, make sure you click the publisher properties to see if you know where your your, your path is wherever your thing is going to be saved and then yeah make sure you publish it as a, as a hyper model and remember i told you about hyper models uh, interactive walkthroughs and mm, that all right finally you can publish and you can publish the hyper model and then it will take a few minutes depending on the size of the model Close the publishing dialog box when the publishing is finished and then the Z model can be open on the iOS or Android but first things first I'll show you how to upload it in the Linux cloud so what you need to do is uh, you need to upload it in the cloud make sure you create an account make sure you create an account and then yeah and you upload this is just how you upload and then you can now in the bmx in itself the app that's how you access the cloud and download the model you want to view now you can explore our model in bmx after you have downloaded it all right so now we can open bmx and explore our model and you know you can switch from 2d to 3d views you can use this first person walk around to discover your full and fully understand the design from your design and operations you can analyze test and check design mistakes virtually in the bmx prototype you know before going on site this is sort of a way of experiencing your design this is a, a call uh, the new design review so this is how you review your design you check your quality controls your design quality check the d model analysis you check your cost activity review so this is the reason behind why they say beam x that's why you explore your beam, beam model if you know the acronym of beam that's just uh, building information modeling so the information is embedded in this model you know you can explore your model at a chat sheets explore freely any of available 3d model views of, or 2d and then pen through the model analyze check click you know please note uh, the interactive live markers and the 3d views click on any of those to open the corresponding 2d design document and that's sort of a, a hyperlinks that's why that's the, the reason behind we say in x hyper models those are hyper hyperlinks if you click in any of them it will take you to the corresponding just like how the hyperlink on the internet works guys i hope you you get all this so if you click here it'll open to switch to another view if you click this hyperlink switches to another view just like that you know used to display use this to display 
of the embedded element and then if you use the BMX for facility management or for operations you could use BMX to explore information of every element and if the template is if, if your model has information like your classification properties and all that you can use this for facility management and you can take your design further to operations and that's basically what our template is offering uh, feel free to dive down down to the link and check it out our template and it's, it's taking a kit beyond design like including or tying a kit elements with tying a kit elements with specifications like our template here guys and you can use bmx for facility management like adding all sorts of information to your model elements and that's, this is what our template uh, is allowing as you can explore a lot from design to operations and yeah check it out check it out in, in the link description so guys i think we have come to the end of our video this was just a basic step-by-step -step guide on how to give you give your presentations an extra kick using bmx i hope you've learned a lot uh, bmx is the new thing not really a new thing it was introduced in ikea 2017 i think and people are tapping into it and it's really interesting on how you could use it uh, for different things you can use it on site facility management you can use it for you know construction reviews you can use it for any kind and for your presentations i think this will boost the way you present to your clients and client clients need to be impressed you know they need to be impressed with technology you need to tap into it and explore more to come with bmx you can now i think use the controlled joysticks to move around bmx models and imagine facilitating your building using bmx it's very interesting <laughs> it's very interesting guys uh, i hope you learned a lot uh, uh, give us a shout and if you like this video uh, I will appreciate if you give us a thumbs up and if you are new here uh, please subscribe for new videos like this and yeah have yourself a creative day uh, links on the description of any kind of things that I've been saying how to use an organizer how to save views and all that kind and the template is available as available for download as we promised it's in the link on the description have yourself a creative day bye for now see you in the next video